Coming up on Mountain News this morning, Governor Andy Bashir is preparing to take more actions as COVID-19 cases continue to climb in the Commonwealth. One of those actions is suggesting churches suspend in-person services for now, but not every church is taking that step. And one church in Lexington is getting creative to maintain in-person services while also following social distancing standards. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Good morning. The clock reads 5 o'clock on this Monday, July the 27th. I'm Will Puckett. Thank you for tuning in to Mountain News this morning. Well, as almost every summer evening goes, we got at least here in Jeff a nice little round of evening summer thunderstorms. And man, did that rain come down. I don't know about you, Brandon, but it could put me to sleep and it almost did. How about you over there in Letcher County? And it wasn't too bad over here. It was uh, on the other side of Ledger County. It was pretty rough, though. I heard some uh, flash flooding went on last night. But uh, here at my house, uh, near the Colson area, it wasn't too bad. Just some rumbles of thunder. But, uh, you know, me, being a weather person, it always wakes me up. So it puts me to sleep. So you got to have that good steady rain to put you to sleep. Let's take a look at what's going on this morning. It's not raining. It's not doing anything this morning except for being foggy. Limited visibility in Logan, Harlan, and Williamsburg this morning. Also in Jonesville down in southwest Virginia. So some patchy, dense fog as you start that mo uh, Monday morning drive. We take a look at those temperatures close to 70 most locations, but you see some uh, mid 60s there in Williamsburg and in Wise this morning. So again, very comfortable start today. A little bit humid there. We still got those dew points up near 70. Now this is going to change as we head deeper into the week. It's going to be a comfortable uh, welcome change, especially with all the heat and humidity we've seen for the last few days. Of course, iced coffee when it comes to temperatures on this Monday morning, but it's a Monday morning, so always need a little extra on a Monday. You're out the door forecast, same pattern to Today, hazy, hot, and humid conditions, sun early, scattered chances for showers and storms later as we get up to 89. But as I said, a welcome change is on the way, especially if you like some cooler air. We'll talk more about that in a few minutes. Will. All righty, Brandon, that cooler air is going to be something that is much welcomed over here. Thank you. Local health departments across eastern Kentucky gave updates on the COVID-19 pandemic in the region yesterday. The Bell County Health Department confirmed five new cases there. The county's total now sits at 228 total coronavirus cases. In Harlan County, the health department confirmed five new cases there. The county now has 185 confirmed cases. One death was also reported in Harlan County, a 70-year-old woman. The Pike County Health Department confirmed 26 new COVID-19 cases on Sunday. The county passed the 200 mark and now has 211 confirmed cases. Meanwhile, Governor Andy Bashir provided updated statewide COVID-19 numbers yesterday. The governor announced that there were 316 new confirmed cases of COVID-19 reported in the Commonwealth. There are now 27,079 coronavirus cases in Kentucky. The governor also announced four new deaths yesterday. The death toll now stands at 700. For more information on COVID-19 here in Kentucky, you can head on over to our website at WYMT.com. Top White House coronavirus expert Dr. Deborah Burks met with Kentucky leaders yesterday in Frankfurt. Kentucky is one of five states she is visiting that has an increasing positivity rate and number of cases. Dr. Burks says the spread of COVID-19 cases we are seeing now is at the household level. She agreed with the 10 person gathering limit, saying now is the time to stop attending large social gatherings. We have a real call to action for every Kentuckian to wear their mask and to protect those in their families by not going to large social gatherings. And if they do, to make sure they're protecting those in their families that have substantial vulnerabilities that we know are related to obesity, hypertension, diabetes, and chronic lung, heart, or kidney disease. Governor Andy Bashir says we should expect to see another high number of cases today and that he will be announcing additional steps to take based on Dr. Burks's recommendations. Now, as we've mentioned, Governor Bashir says he's prepared to take more action to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. He specifically said if the state is not able to get this surge of cases under control, then he will have to shut bars back down. At the same time, he is also suggesting churches move to online worship for 
the next few Sundays. Governor Bashir began requiring masks two weeks ago, which means that we should expect to see the impact reflected in the data that comes this week. Now, this past weekend saw more than 1,000 new confirmed cases of COVID-19 here in the Commonwealth, a number Governor Andy Bashir says calls for action. As we just mentioned, one of those actions is asking churches to scale back in-person services. While some churches continue to worship online, some are continuing in person, like Petrie Baptist Church here in Hazard. To make accommodations, they do have two services, one at 9 in the morning and then one at 11, to ensure social distancing standards are met. The church also makes sure hand sanitizers and masks are available. Ronnie Pennington is pastor of the church and he says they are continuing service not to defy order but to offer some peace in difficult times. And these people that say we don't need to meet then tell them to stay home. Tell them not to go to work. Tell them to stay out of Walmart. Tell them to stay out of the restaurants. Tell them to stay off the lake. I mean I could go on and on and on and on. But I, I'm not trying to be negative. I'm just saying, in the midst of all this negatives, we need the positive. Inside the church, every other pew is blocked with God at work. Tape and X's are marked six feet apart for those who want to socialize, and everyone is required to wear a mask. Pennington says Sunday school is canceled until further notice because social distancing there was not possible. Well, Eastern Kentucky is not the only place where churches continue to forge ahead with in-person services. One church in Lexington got creative to allow its congregation to gather while still socially distancing. Grace Feinerman shows us how. You've got health problems? See? Where's God now? A church on the lawn, a congregation filled with umbrellas and towels, all to keep social distancing in place. At least to be six feet apart. But if you're more comfortable 10 feet apart or 100 feet apart, we have enough space out there. David Prince, Ashland Avenue Baptist Church pastor, says it's important for his congregation to come together. It's a weekly family reunion uh, that is very necessary in the life of the believer to remember who we are as a people. Well, Prince says the church is sticking to guidelines. He doesn't support all of the governor's decisions. I don't think that the governor ought to focus on churches as a single group but rather groups. If there are recommendations related to group size and group dynamics, that's one thing. But to say, I want churches to do X, Y, or Z is to single them out, I think, in a very unhealthy way. And that's happened a few times. Prince says he gives government officials the benefit of the doubt. He shares he thinks Governor Bashir is doing his best to keep everyone healthy. Still, Prince says the attorney general and courts keeping the governor's recommendations in check is a good thing. Remedying some of the problematic, what we would see as problematic things that the governor has, has said and done. As for how his church will meet, Prince says it's about being flexible and creative, bringing people together, but with guidelines in check. In Lexington, Grace Feinerman, WKYT. Well, thank you for getting your day started with us right here on Mountain News this morning. Coming up with less than 100 days remaining until Election Day, polls are hinting at a change in many voters' minds. And the forecast continues to stay hot and sticky today, but some big changes are on the way. We'll talk about it in about three minutes.